Is that it? No drum roll? Mm. Mm. Well. Uh, I wish we were going to do something about that. It just surprised me. That's not your usual entrance. Aha. But you see, I'm turning over a whole new leaf. No more grumbling, no more complaining about a rotten day. It's a whole new Bob. Do I have to call you Bob? <laughs> so, subconsciously, you do admit that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, anyway, there's no more of that. I'm a changed person. A whole new man. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's only fair. I think I've been... Well, I've been less than... less than reasonable with you of late. But all that's about to change. So, tell us about your day. There's not much to tell. Can't you do better than that? Well, this morning, I huh? missed you. Uh, yeah. At lunchtime, yeah. I missed you. Yeah. This afternoon at work, I missed you. Hmm. <laughs> I think you better run this by me again. <clears throat> And when I came home from work, yeah. I missed you. Yourself proud, love. Thank you, Scott. Is Colton here? I don't see him. Uh, no, he hasn't arrived yet. Uh, would you excuse me for just a minute? Would you, uh, would you let him? I want you to go home, sweetheart. Okay. All right. Can they say goodbye to Daddy? Yes. We're going to say goodbye. Mm, oh, parting is such sweet sorrow. Mm. Come, on, come on, kid. Come on, sweetheart. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bye. Got one of those kisses for me. Mm, some kisser. A little distracting, don't you think? Yes. It's from Amy at the hospital. Tom Hardy says if Colton shows up, what is that supposed to mean? I don't know. It's a little too vague for me. You going to show this to Felicia? No, not until I call up Amy and get a little more information. Excuse me. Robert, I'm worried about Colton. He was supposed to be here a long time ago. Well, you can stop worrying. I just have an good authority that he's on his way. I'll get him a phone call. Excuse me. Very simple on television. Oh, hello again. So good to see you. You know, I'm not sure which of you two I enjoy seeing the least. Oh, probably me. Hmm. So what are you doing here? Going to the party, of course. Well, it's just a room full of upstanding citizens. I mean, don't you feel a little out of place? <laughs> I love slumming, Commissioner. See you. Come on. Bye. Let's not give Olivia the pleasure of ruining our evening, okay? Well, I suppose I should be thankful for small favors. The both of them here, they can't be out causing trouble anyway. <clears throat> Why the detour? Let's just say I don't like the look of the road ahead. Too bumpy for you? Too crowded. I see what you mean. Bourbon has this ability of even taking the great outdoors and making them seem somewhat restricted. I'm not going to let either one of them ruin our evening. So now where are we going? As far away from the dynamic duo. Well, I hear that Siberia is very pleasant this time of the year. Oh, we could sneak out the back. We were supposed to be keeping an eye on it. You keep your eyes wherever you want. Mine are right here. Now, where were we? Looking for a suitable park bench or uh, maybe a substitute? First things first, Romeo. What do you have in mind? Well, spending the evening in your arms. Now you're talking. You can always check in here for the night. Dancing. Why well, settle plan B? Try it. You'll like it. Okay, do you assist? Shall we? I thought you'd never ask. Mm. 
Felicia left the complex to go pick him up. I dare say they've taken a midnight stroll somewhere. Bye. Who was that? Yes. 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 Maybe, maybe you had to change. She's not allowed to know. Maybe I should look into it. Why don't you sit down here and try not to get picked up? Right? Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the 